Have you ever wondered about the profound bond that unites us all, a bond born of divine creation? Our tale takes us back to the dawn of existence, to the ethereal realm of Eden, where Adam first found himself cradled in the gentle embrace of creation. From his very essence, God fashioned Eve, a radiant being of light and love, her existence a testament to the sacred bond that would forever unite them. As Adam slumbered beneath the celestial canopy, Eve was brought forth, sculpted with tender care from his rib. Upon awakening, Adam was overcome with a profound sense of love and gratitude. Adam named the woman Eve. In Eve, he found his perfect counterpart, an embodiment of unity and companionship. Two special trees grew in Eden. One was named the tree of life. God warned them about the other tree. It was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God said to them, if you eat of this tree, he said, you will die. Hand in hand, they wandered through the verdant garden. Their spirits intertwined in a symphony of companionship and unity. But even in paradise, shadows can lurk, can't they? Hidden amongst the tranquility of Eden, a cunning serpent slithered, whispering deceit and temptation. The serpent, with a tongue as sweet as honey, lured Eve towards the forbidden fruit. He said to Eve, Did God say you shouldn't eat the tree of knowledge? Eve answered, He said, If we do, we will die. That is not true. The serpent lied, Eat it, and you will be like God. Doubt began to cloud her mind, the serpent's words echoing in her ears, creating a cacophony of temptation. She was stuck in a tempest of uncertainty, torn between obedience and curiosity. Eve believed him and ate the tree's fruit. She reached out, plucking the forbidden fruit from its perch. Offering it to Adam, they both partook, their innocence crumbling in that fleeting moment. With a fleeting moment of weakness, their innocence shattered their hearts heavy with the weight of their transgression. In the wake of transgression, divine judgment awaits, yet it is laced with hope. As the day surrendered to twilight, God, in his infinite wisdom, sought out Adam and Eve, their hearts heavy with the weight of their disobedience. Consumed by guilt, they hid amidst the verdant foliage, their spirits echoing with remorse. With a voice as gentle as the evening breeze, God called out to his wayward children, his words a balm to their troubled hearts, as they stepped forth from their hiding place. Did you eat from the tree I warned you about? asked God. The woman gave me the fruit, I ate it, the man said. So God spoke to the woman, what have you done? The serpent tricked me, she said, and I ate. God turned to the serpent. You have done this, so you will always crawl on your belly. You will hate the woman. She will also hate you. You and her child will fight. He will crush your head. You will bite him on the heel. To Eve, he said, you will have children, but you will be in pain when you do. He foretold the trials of womanhood, yet within her suffering, he planted the seeds of redemption. To Adam, you will sweat and suffer to work and find food. He declared the harsh reality of mortality, a poignant reminder of the transient nature of life. Yet, even as he pronounced these judgments, his words resonated with an enduring promise of hope and redemption. With a heavy heart, God banished Adam and Eve from Eden, their expulsion a poignant reminder of the consequences of disobedience. In their exile, they carried with them not only the burden of their choices, but also the promise of a new beginning. 
a testament to God's boundless grace and love. Embarking on a journey beyond Eden, Adam and Eve carried the weight of their choices and the flicker of hope. A world once bathed in celestial light was now shrouded in the shadows of remorse and regret. Yet even in the face of such profound despair, a glimmer of hope persisted, a beacon of divine grace in the midst of their desolation. Banished from paradise, they found themselves in an unfamiliar realm, far removed from the resplendent beauty of Eden. Yet even as they navigated this new existence, they clung steadfastly to their faith, their trust in God's boundless grace, their only solace. In the face of adversity, they were not alone. God, in his infinite compassion, remained with them, guiding them through the trials and tribulations of their mortal lives. It was a journey punctuated by hardship and sorrow, yet also marked by resilience and redemption. With every passing day, they grew stronger, their spirits tempered by the harsh realities of life outside Eden. They learned to toil, to struggle and to persevere, their hearts filled with a renewed sense of purpose and determination. Their journey was not just a physical one, but a spiritual one. It was a journey of self-discovery, a journey towards understanding the true nature of good and evil, of love and loss, of divine grace and mortal frailty. With each step they embarked upon a new chapter in their story, their hearts heavy with the bittersweet knowledge of good and evil, and their souls illuminated by the enduring light of divine love. If you enjoyed this journey through the tale of Adam and Eve, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest videos and share this video with your friends, family and church. Thank you for watching.